Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to Casual Cooper's Fortnite Guide for Duos When You Don't Have Any Friends. It's me, Cooper, and I'm going to give you guys a guide on how to be a casual in Fortnite and still win games. Now, have you picked duos? Good. Do you have any friends with you? No? It's 1v2? Perfect. What we're going to be learning today is what are you good at, what are you bad at? Rule 1. Can you build? No? That's fine, neither can I. So, if you can't build, the first thing you need to do is find a sniper. Thank God there happened to be one on this roof. Rule 2, you need to get good at sniping. Uh, the only way I could recommend you doing this is if uh, you find people out and about. Make sure you use the line of sight to find them. Uh, there they are, you can see someone over there. You see right there. For those of you that are curious, I play Fortnite on mute because I have family in the next room, so I can't always play with sound on, so... Yeah, that's something you have to get used to. Fortnite without sound. How do you do it? There's a little mode that lets you like, gives you indicators on your map. It really helps uh, in the settings bar. But yeah, we'll back to the guide. Rule one, get good at sniping. You see that guy? Always lead your shot and boop. Perfect, okay. Rule two, if there are multiple opponents, make sure you take one out completely because the other one will just try to defend them. So, perfect, nice. And then the last one is easy, just make sure he doesn't get away. Because if he gets away, he will want revenge. And if they get revenge on you, then you'll never be a good Fortnite player. Luckily, this isn't a guide on how to be- this is not a guide on how to be a good Fortnite player. This is a guide on how to play Fortnite without friends. Basically. So, you got your sniper, you got your kills, now you gotta look around. Where are the other people? Because you do not want to leave your building until you have killed every single person in the place. Oh, wait. I think we see one. Yep. There they are. Another good tip for everybody at home. Do not just take a shot all willy-nilly. If you reveal your position, you will die. In duos, you don't want to shoot somebody, miss, and then have him and his buddy just come over and kill you. So, don't take a shot until you're sure. And the way you know you're sure is if you see the kill. Cause, you know, oh, look at this guy's breaking down a wall. See, right now would be a perfect time to take a shot. But we're casuals. We don't know how to do that. We're not smart. We're not good at the video game, so we wait. We wait, and we hunt. Hunting is the best part in Fortnite. You wait for your prey to fall into a trap. This prey is going to be running past our building. Why? Because we haven't shot at him. So they don't know that we're up here. So, yep, there they go. They're passing by. I don't know if you were able to see them, but I can got to train your line of sight. It's easier to train that when you don't have sound. And then, make sure... Boom. Oh, crap. We have broken one of the rules. Let's say rule one is the rule. Don't miss. If you miss, you will die. Luckily, that guy was alone, so we did not lose the game. Had that guy had a friend, we would have lost the game. So, look over here. See what you're going to deal with. And there's someone over there, and there's someone on the beach. So what we need to focus on now is getting rid of this guy. Okay, we've been spotted. When you have been spotted in Fortnite, and you are playing alone, rule two is what you need to follow. Be a coward. So, we ran the hell out of there. We are gone. We are not going to try and fight that person. We literally just ran. Obviously, we got caught in the storm because we took the long way around. Not going to make you guys watch all that walking. And this will bring us on to rule three. The storm is your friend. If you're in the storm, you can take as many shots as you want, you can do whatever you want, because you're basically invisible. Nobody's going to be dumb enough to come get you in the storm. The storm is your friend. So, when you come out of the storm, people should be all alone, and we've knocked someone. Perfect. Now that we've knocked someone, the smart thing to do would be to use him as bait so that we can kill his friend, because he's only knocked down. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to watch his body, and don't do something stupid like try to kill him. If you just try to kill him, his friend's going to know where you are. So don't just, what am I doing? No, stop it. No, please. Okay, we are definitely going to die now. We have paid the price. Yep, we have lost. And nope, okay, no. When you're playing against people equally bad that have not seen this guy yet, you don't have to worry. Well, luckily we got some good loot out of that. We got some heals, some items. But yeah, let that be one of the lessons for you. Don't just kill the person you knocked. They don't know where you are. They don't know where you knocked them. Use their bodies as bait. But uh, I didn't follow my own rule there, and we somehow won, so maybe this isn't a very good lid, <laughs> a very good guide. Either way, let's build our way out of here. Oh god, I forgot, I don't know how to build. And let's just cut to when we get farther ahead, because this is, there's like nothing going on here. Alright, there we go, let's get uh, this chest. Perfect. 
Also, if you're lucky, you'll get a supply drop on the way. This has nothing to do with a guide, sometimes you're just lucky. And to be honest, to win at Fortnite, luck is a pretty, pretty big factor. And I mean big. So, looking around, yeah, no one's gonna steal this from us because we're too close to the storm. And remember, the storm is your friend. Hug it, be in it, do whatever you want with the storm. Ooh, we got a scar out of this, this is good. So, we're gonna take this scar and go on with, to, with the story. Now, we're out of the storm, but the storm is right on our back. You want to keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So, there's an enemy right there. Easy takeout. But, if you've noticed, they got shot in, they got killed in one shot, which means they've already been damaged. Yep, we are in danger now because we just took someone else's prey. Let that be a lesson to you. If you kill someone in one shot when you didn't get a headshot, that was somebody else's kill. Run. Luckily, the storm is your friend and... Be a coward. Follow those two rules, and the person that sniped you won't even try to hurt you again. Because one, they're afraid of your friend the storm, and two, you're scared. So you stayed in the storm like a freaking, you know, like a coward. And now they couldn't get you. Perfect. Now use the storm. You're going to run through it, and they're all, everyone else is just going to be trying to get out of the storm. You don't care about getting out of the storm. You just care about getting the kills that are within the storm. And remember, the storm's going to give you a nice little storm assist. Even if you don't shoot them down to death, the storm will tick them to death. Rule number two, or three, the storm is your friend. Alright, we've made it into the building now and we need to focus. Someone else is in the building with us. We are not good at Fortnite. We don't know how to build. We do have a shotgun, luckily. And uh, the sniper doesn't really come into play in this, so that means we're pretty bad. Ignore that person that looks like they'd be my friend. I don't have any friends. So, let's go all the way up there and find out what this person is doing. Now... We do happen to have some traps on us, so maybe it'd be a good idea to set them down. The one problem with setting down traps is that they make noise when you set them down, so you basically give away your position. So let's do that. And look at that, we have another bad player because they didn't just kill us, that's awesome. And they forgot where the button is to, you, to shoot, so that's even better. Make sure to eat at least one player every game. If you don't do it, then you're not playing Fortnite right, especially not this new Fortnite. And let's cut. We're in the end game now, everybody. This is the final chapter of this guide. What we need to do now is find a good vantage point and just start picking people off as safely and as carefully as possible. If you knock someone down and their friend finds you, you will not win the game. So, look around. Look, that guy's all alone. They have no chance of hiding. Aim for the head. You got plenty of time. Perfect. See, this isn't going bad at all. Now, the rule of the cloud is your friend or the storm is your friend is now null and void. The storm will kill you. You have no friends anymore. So, our focus now is just to hide. Be a coward. Focus on being a coward and focus on sniping. Alright, see this guy? There's no way he can see we're down here, so you might as well just take him out. Easy peasy. As long as you're at least a decent sniper, that's not a bad shot. So... He's only knocked down, but there's no way he's going to be able to get up in time and find out where you are. So make sure you change positions. You don't want them to know anything about your positioning. So he'll be looking to the left and we'll be going left. Well, we'll be going left, his left. And oh crap, someone found us. Instantly killed them. They are not important. But if you've noticed, that person was damaged. So that was somebody else's prey. Funny enough, I think that was the prey of the person that we had shot in the freaking tower up there. So we're in the clear right now. Nobody knows where we are. We're completely safe. We can focus on just getting some kills. Now, at this point of the game, everybody is your friend. Because the other armies or the other teams are just going to be fighting each other because all the other people know how to build, which makes it really easy to find them because they build and then you're like, oh, there's building over there. Somebody had to make that. Look at that. Look at that. Watch these people. They're probably going to start building now. No? Okay. Oh, nope. There you go. Yep. Now, remember what I said. Don't just take a shot. You need to be absolutely sure you're going to hit. So see this guy? He wants to get in there. He's going to have to build. So that's our easy shot. Perfect. That is the easiest way to get a kill there. Now, obviously, that's just a knockdown. But the reason those people were building was because they're getting shot at. So all we're doing is helping our friends, the other team. Now, if you want to be a good sniper, you're going to need to take out one person from each team. That way, there's only one person left in the end. So that the end of the game is just a 1v1. Sadly, it's really complicated to see who's the bad guys and who's the good guys here. So if you could just knock down anybody, that'd be great. Let's just focus. Focus. Don't take the shot. It's not guaranteed yet. You want to get a guaranteed shot, wait for them to try to heal, wait for them to stand still. 
for at least a second and a half. There's Okay, we killed one of them because they just bled out. That guy looks like he's healing. Perfect. Looks like a headshot to me. Perfect. It was a headshot. Now we have made kind of an error. There are only two other players left in the game and they're on the same team. And we got the final kill so they know we're a sniper. But we have one advantage. They don't know where we are. Because why? We're a coward and we don't build. So, they can't find us, which means we're going to get one shot to take one of them down. The other one, we're just going to have to do, we're going to have to be a man about it and actually play Fortnite. But if we can get one of them down, it'll be an easy game. Sadly, since they know there's a sniper, neither of them are standing still, which means we're going to need bait. The only bait I can see on the map right now is a chest or a, a, a crate. So a supply drop. Yeah, supply drop. That's the word. And there it is. It looks like they're going for the bait. Perfect. They don't know where we are, so they don't know where to build. Bruh. And take the... Oh, crap. Shit. God damn it. This guide was completely useless. If you want to get good at Fortnite, just learn how to freaking build.